Welcome to another episode of WP Tuts. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this transparent header using Elementor alongside Ocean WP. As you can see, we've got a nice looking header graphic. We've got transparent header, all the navigations in place. And I'm going to show you how you can achieve that quickly and easily. So let's just jump into WordPress and take a look at how we can do that right now. So as I said, we're going to be using Ocean WP as the theme of choice, and we're going to be using Elementor alongside it. Now, you're not limited to using these. There are various different ways you could do this with other themes, but I've just found Ocean WP makes life so much easier when you want to create these custom transparent headers. Let's just jump into the admin of WordPress and take a look at how we can start building this out. So let's just jump in, and I've created my page, but I've set nothing up on there. We've simply created it, we've named it, and nothing more. Now, obviously, when you're working with Ocean WP, you're going to see this Ocean WP panel underneath the actual content area. And this gives us a range of different options. And depending upon what additional plugins you may have installed for Ocean WP, you may see different functions inside this particular settings block. What we're looking for is the ability to go through and just set some basic parameters up to start off with. First thing I'm going to do is just set the content layout for this example to be full width. Sidebar, we're going to leave that as is, and we're going to disable the margins because we don't want to have a margin at the top that pushes our header graphic down and makes it a bit awkward when well, we're going to start using negative margins. So we're going to disable that for now. If we jump over to the header section, you can see we can go through and we can set up a per page header. So what we're going to do is we're going to say we're going to change the header style from the default. We're going to choose transparent. Once we do that, we've now enabled this for this page only. So all the other pages will use whatever the default header sort of style is going to be, including the navigation and so on. But this particular page is just going to use transparent. So we can hit update at this point, or if we want to, we can come in and we can adjust the menu. So at the moment, you can see we've got the default menu in there. Obviously, we could create something different if we wanted to, but obviously logic says you kind of want to leave the same menu structure for your entire website. What we can also do is go in and control the actual link colors, the hover state, and so on. So they will override the default settings as part of the customizer of Ocean WP. Now, once we set up the actual header, put the graphic in there, we'll come back and take a look at how we can change things like the link color to make sure where they stand out. But for now, we'll leave those as they are, and we'll just click on Update. Once we've done that, we're just going to click to edit with Elementor, and we're going to go in and start building up our actual page. Now, you don't need to have the pro version installed. You can do this with the free version. But if you want to get in and create your own custom headers, you're either going to need to have the pro version of Elementor and or the pro version set of plugins for Ocean WP. Okay, so we're now ready to put our header area in. Now, I've predefined this as a template. You can obviously build it up yourself doing whatever you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up, choose to add a new section, add from template, jump over to my templates, and you can see that I've got everything set up in there. So I simply hit insert, and that'll insert that into the page for me. So now that we've got our header already inserted into the page, you'll notice that the menu is actually missing at the top. And unfortunately, this is just the way that Elementor is working. It's not actually showing that menu as part of Ocean WP. So what we need to do is just jump over to our test page just to check everything is in place. If we jump over and refresh the page, You'll see that everything is there, the logo, all the links. The links don't exactly stand out from the background. Now, there's a couple of ways we can deal with this. We obviously need to change the color, but you can't necessarily, or you don't necessarily want to do that on every single page. And if you change the graphic, you're going to go back in and start editing. So there's a couple of things we can do. We could, if we wanted to, jump into something like Photoshop and put an overlay gradient on there. But that means every time you want to make a change, you've got to go through the whole process of updating your graphic and editing it in Photoshop, which isn't always great. So what we're going to do is jump back into Elementor. We'll just select our row because this is where the background is applied. We apply that to the back of the row. Jump over to our style section, and if we jump down to the background overlay, you can see at the moment it's set to be transparent. And we could, if we wanted to, put a color on there. But that'll darken everything down. It looks a little bit rubbish. So what we can do is we can simply click on gradient. If we click on there, you can see that now gives us the ability to set a top gradient color and a bottom gradient color. And then we can adjust the location and the style of that to make sure it's in keeping with the graphic we're working with. So we can use a nice black at the top, leave it transparent as the secondary color. So we get that nice transparent or dark to transparent gradient. You can see we can adjust the location. As I bring that down, you'll see that the transparent level moves down the page. 
So we can get that exactly as we want to make sure that it suits exactly where we need it to be on the page itself. We can also go in and adjust the actual transparency of that if we want to. The opacity of the overall gradient is controlled by this slider. And we can even adjust the angle if we want to. We can even just jump it over to radial. Obviously not really any use to us for this particular thing, but you can see it's pretty easy to customize and just tweak it to get exactly what you want. So I'm just going to adjust this to make sure it sits at the top, which is going to be perfect for our navigation. I'm going to bring down the opacity. I don't want it to be quite so in your face. So we just get some nice separation on there. And we click update on the page, jump over to our test page, refresh that. And you can now see we've got our gradient overlay. We can adjust this to make sure it fits exactly as we want, but you can see that the text still doesn't really show off too well. So what you do is jump back into this, jump out of Elementor, go back into our dashboard and simply jump over to the menu section. And in there, we can just update the link color to be white, click update, jump back over and refresh the page. And there's our links all done in white with that nice gradient overlay to make sure they stand off the background. So it's really quick and really easy to do. Well, there we go. We've now created a transparent header menu inside Ocean WP using Elementor. Well, I hope you found the video useful. If you did and you'd like to support the channel, please consider using the affiliate links in the description below if you're considering purchasing any of the themes or plugins that we use as these videos. It doesn't cost you any more money, but it does give a small percentage back to the channel to help support what we do and help us make more content like this in the future. Well, if you've got any comments, questions, or feedback on this video or anything else we cover on the channel or anything you'd like to see covered in future videos, please pop those in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified whenever new content is uploaded. If you did enjoy the video, smash that like button. Until next time, take care.